Hi everybody. Hi guys. Welcome to Meal Times and Mouthfuls with Megan. I have a special guest, my husband today, Jason, and a special treat for you guys. He's gonna show you the box. You're a durian! Yay! Shout out to Lindsay in the Durian Farm. Um, you can look it up at you'rethedurian.com. Um, this is a special treat. They are sending it in a one-time session to the U.S. from the Philippines. And I've already done one video. If you'd like to check it out, it's on my channel, Mealtimes and Mouthfuls. And this is my husband's first time trying it. So it'll be all something new. And so we are very excited to try the durian. I have my tray here ready and ready to go. And it is going to be so exciting and all new. And we get to have durian! So these are the cards that come with it. They give you three cards that explain which and what each durian is. So I will read them off as we try them. But we're going to get them open first. Oh, it's in like a cool insulated freezer. <laughs> yeah, they thing. come with these. They're called school shot or cooler shot, excuse me. And they're like little freeze packs. Okay, it's not a whole durian. I thought it would be a whole No, one, it is not a whole durian, but pieces. this is one, and I believe oh, goodness. that this one is going to be Aaron Sillo. This is Aaron Sillo. Oh, this looks like a, this looks like a mango. Like. And then this one here is going to be the Do Ya Ya, which wasn't my favorite the first time, but it may be more his. It's called Do Ya Ya. <laughs> and then the last one, which we have, is called Puat. Which was my favorite flavor, but with the Aaron Silo. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to start. Set this off to the side. First, I'm going to have him take a smell of the package. Tell me if he smells anything. It's not. To some people, it can smell worse than it is. So we're going to open this first one here if you want to. This is it called. A, it has a very distinct odor to it. Okay, open that one. This is called Aaron Silo. And as he opens it, I'm going to read it to you. The secret love of diehard durian lovers in Duva Arancello is a commercial favorite because of its off-white colorless flesh. This smaller sized fruit is tricky, often feeling unripe to the touch when the interior is really a rich, sticky, mouth-numbing caramel liqueur infused ivory cream. Its biggest fault is a tendency toward uneven texture, so we suggest eating while it's still cold enough to be firm to the touch. It's durian's number one in your sampler, so don't feel like you have to wait to get started. So we're going to attempt this one first. He's going to open it all the way up. I got it. Yeah, I, I, I missed the spot here. He's going to put it out here so we can see it. We're going to push these other two off for right now. Leave okay. them in that order. Here's uh... All right, just... Plop it all out. <laughs> Y'all, to say I've been waiting for this is an understatement. Yeah. Hi guys, we are here doing your The Durian. And we are going to try the first one. Aaron. And this is my hubby. He's going to try Aaron Silo. As I said, you've got the fleshy meat and inside is a pod. So you can try, here's a piece you can try, Aaron Silo. Take a bite and let me know what you think. It tastes better than it smells, I will tell you that. It does. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it, it, I don't know. Mm. It tastes good. This is good. Mm. Like, like I said, I love the flavor uh, of this uh, one, but I like the peel texture. It. Peel it right off the pit. Pua, yes. You can even suck on the pit and get all the good stuff mm. off if you want. Mm. Mm. It, this is my favorite. Mmm. I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like a caramelly. Caramel, yeah, like mm -hmm. a caramel cust uh, mm -hmm. custard stuff. Really good. Mm. <laughs> this is one of my favorites, and I absolutely love it. Woo! Mm. Mm -hmm. I think this one I could eat all the time. It's so good. This is kind of hard to <laughs> eat. Yeah. So it's almost you have to eat it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. It's a sticky, sticky food, and mm. Mm. I love it. This is really tasty. 
Is, is are all these seeds in one fruit? Mm-hmm. Well, a lot, of, a lot of little seed pods. They come in here. one big pod. You can see those or not? Yep, comes out in like one big pod. And so you'll have a pod, and it may have two of these in there in each one. Or angles a little high on the camera, but that's what they look like on the plate. Yep. There you go. And like I said, there's the big old seed pods, huge, huge, huge. Mmm. Mmm. This one's my favorite, so I kind of. <laughs> you want to get it? Mmm. All of it. <laughs> and one thing I've heard is that this is supposedly a warming fruit, so it's supposed to warm your body if you eat a bunch of it. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, we're gonna <laughs> try to move on. Move on to the next one? Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, here we go. Number two. What is Which this one is called now? What color is the sticker on it's the other the, side? Uh, purple. That is called Do Ya Ya. This was one of my least favorites. Do Ya Ya. Do Ya Ya Number is one. one of the. Heftiest durians in the Philippines, often weighing in at five kilograms. Tree dropped it sparkles on your tongue with a raspberry milk chocolate sweetness, tinged with metallic hints of parent Juyaya Chansi. Here we go. This bag is. Its more texture open. is silky and even more gloopy, requiring a spoon or fully immersed fingers to enjoy. As your sample is both tree dropped and frozen, we recommend eating with slightly softened like an ice cream. This is the Do Ya Ya. Now, I will admit the Do Ya Ya is the one that has the most pungency to me. It's the one that smells most stinky, but it, but like I said, it's varied, so we're going to let him try it first. This is my least favorite of them all. <laughs> That's really strong. <laughs> yeah. It has a strong uh, mm. flavor to it. Yes. I will try it again, though it is my least I'll favorite. Have one of the bite here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I apologize if this looks sloppy. It's supposed to be messy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. It's good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It's actually good. I just. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to choke that one down. <laughs> I can't eat any more of that. Okay, so Do Ya Ya is not on his list of. <laughs> I apologize. That was. But okay. This this first one was good. That is my favorite. Now let's um, move on to number three, which is called Puat. Oh. <laughs> I have a paper towel, please. Yes, you may. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Wipe okay. fingers off a little bit. We have one more to go here. The this next. is the blue sticker. Yep. And this is called Puat. Puat. The future export durian of the Puat. Philippines. Puat. Puat is the most common durian you'll find here. Stable and reliable Puat packs an overwhelming mouthful of overly rich egg custard heavy caramelized cream with a sulfurous kick that can make your mouth tingle like spices. No, the smell, they smell almost the same, and it's not... With its thick not texture, thaw it longer than our until or do wash to let off the strong and flavor aroma. Puat is definitely the stinkiest of this tasting sample. Be careful when you open the package. It smells the same. Yeah, I don't know. It's between Do Ya Ya and Puat, but... Yeah. Okay. Let me see You here. know what? It may be the Puat that's my least. I don't know. Well, last time Do Ya Ya was not my favorite. And Okay, here we go. Yeah, you ready? Mm. That's not bad. Mm. It's not bad. Puat's not bad. Mm. It's not... Not bad. I would honestly take, like, three sections of the Arancillo and eat it all by myself. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's kind of... 
It's really, really good. It's really sticky. I'm going to go back in for another one of my favorites. Mm. Mm. It's okay. This first one was my favorite one. I don't know if I would eat these other two. Uh, Me personally. Yeah, the Aranzilla is my favorite. Mm, they're so good. Yeah. Really, really tasty. Sweet. Really yes. good. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. But, all right, you guys, we wanted to come on here and show you the durian. And I'll let you know to try it. Get your samples now. Get the deliciousness. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. he's, he's trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, the only one I like is this white one here. Sorry, you can't see the plate. They are and so on. They're all. The white mm -hmm. one is. On the bottom here is the one I like, I like the best. The other one's kind of choked me up a little. <laughs> it's but, just the texture. It's almost like the texture of if you were eating like egg, <laughs> egg yolks mixed with some, and you were swallowing it like, <laughs> like you know the old school remedies that make a person throw up, <laughs> like your grandmother may know. Or that's mm -hmm. that's what that kind of reminded me of. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, but they're good. This first one is good. Okay. If you want more of the first one, have it. The, what was it? Arancello. Yes. I think I'm going to go back in for the third one, which was the Puat. Plus, it's, it peels right off these pits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like I said, this is a... Um, this one also... Yeah. Is distinctly sweeter than the other ones. Yes. This is a sweeter, uh, sweeter flavor. But these do come from the Philippines. That is where they originate from. Oh, they're good. Mm. Yes. Mm. Really, really tasty. Yeah. Okay. Well. Mm. All right, guys. Catch us everyone. next time for another video. Bye.